Hello, I'm Fadwan Amna and I'm a freelance curator and one of the co-curators of this exhibition. Uh, first, let us start with the title, In the Presence of Absence, which is referring to a book written by Palestinian poet Mahmoud Darwish. And with this title, the exhibition is questioning narratives that are overlooked by society, its public institutions and knowledge organizations. My name is Britta Slotaak. I'm a curator at the Stedelijk Museum Amsterdam, co-curator of this exhibition. And together with Fadwa, we do one final round through the exhibition as it is coming to an end. Uh, it consists of 23 projects and it's done by 28 artists and designers. Their work and the artists and designers are depicted in illustrations here in the introduction room. They are done by Haitham Haddad. And we're gonna stop during our tour at seven works, so please come along. Well, this is the work by Natasha Kensmill, and it's titled Wedding Portrait of Johan de Witt and Mendela Bicker. And what you see are two large canvases, a full portrait, and they are surrounded by nine smaller canvases, and they depict uh, symbols of heraldics of coats of arms. And what she does here by using this very archetypical way of painting, which we know from the 17th century, she really questions what is right and what is wrong about all these symbols of wealth. This is the work of Quincy Gario and Mina Wawirst, and it's titled We Offered Maurice Dates, Grasshoppers and Water. The work is spotlighting relations between core land, a part of which is what is known today as Latvia, and the Netherlands, because core land and the Netherlands clashed over colonizing Tobago in the 16th century. And with these trans uh, cultural and transnational relations, the artists are suggesting to look at trans history as a way to repair colonial damage and gaps in history writing. So this work is by Farida Seydok and it's titled The Future Ain't What It Used To Be. And this work tells the story of transatlantic textile trade, which is done between the Netherlands and Indonesia and West Africa for many, many years. It's a collage and it consists of linen, printed linen. By referring to this medium of linen and prints and textiles, but also including images that refer to money and deals, she really sheds light on the relationship between cultural heritage, but also wealth, money and globalization. This is the work of Gita Scali and it's titled Alibaba Express Episode 2. So the title of the work Alibaba Express refers to the e-commerce website. And what you see here is a pile of verbena leaves which were informally uh, exported from Morocco to the Netherlands or between brackets smuggled to here. And the work is spotlighting a system of informal economy of products that you see all around here in the markets. And in this work, uh, the museum, the artist, uh, the people who transported the, product, the products to here, and the audience who are invited to take verbena tea for free become part of this informal economy circle. You are actually invited to take uh, verbena leaves for free using the gloves which Gita Scali ordered from Alibaba Express. And uh, you use it like this. So you use the glove um, and then you can take the verbena with the glove. It actually smells very good. Okay. Woon je daar alleen? Ja, ik woon er alleen, ja. Okay. <laughs> Wat is dat? Ik heb het alleen, zeg. Vieux. Vieux. Wat? <laughs> nou, kijk. Drank in zo'n fles? Ja. <laughs> this is the film, documentary film, titled 
Without Hope, I Have No Dreams. And it's filmed by Rowena Buder. And the artist uh, films their father where he lives and uh, while they talk about the past, uh, Buer really wonders is it possible to leave the past behind and build new memories together. Maar daar gaat het niet om. Hou er gewoon over op. Ik hou erover op. Jij begint en houdt er weer over. Ben je niet over begonnen, dan was er niks aan de hand geweest. This is the project of Sadiq Al Faraji, and it includes three works. The first is titled Sing Like Southerners Do, which is a drawing sound installation. The second is an animation video titled The River That Was in the South. And the third is titled The River Books, which includes three notebooks. In this project, we see repetitive elements such as using black ink and charcoal. Uh, and we see drawing and Arabic script, which is mainly uh, sentences, very poetic sentences about love, death, life, farewell, and exodus. Uh, and here Sadiq is speaking about the migration story of himself and his family inside Iraq and from Iraq to the Netherlands. Uh, and here he raises questions on the influences of this migration on cultural identity and memory. This immersive installation is by Leonardo Ancia Alenda and it's titled Chapter 6 Marnie. And it's a mesmerizing uh, installation that consists of sound, video, hanging sculptures and even textiles. Uh, this immersive installation is actually an atmosphere and it's built on many narrative layers that construct a spatial experience. And these narratives are written by the artist himself in a fictional story about a housekeeper, Marnie. And I could tell you many, many more about Marnie, but I actually want to refer to the online publication to know more about Marnie and this installation. It's an online publication, so free for everyone. Every artist and their work are represented. So I hope you also enjoy that, so you can carry on in the presence of absence. <laughs>